guys. So, um, I'm just going to come to you. It's going to be not too long, I hope. I'm just coming to you guys just to show you a few products uh, as far as what you can use that's inexpensive makeup to still make you look like the Barbies that you guys are and the beautiful people that you guys are without being so expensive. Um, there's pretty good prop you know products out there that are nice that you don't have to spend so much for so yeah let's get started um actually here's two palettes that are from clears that are both very inexpensive this one was 15 this one was 20 um this is 54 palettes it's 100 palettes they're really really nice and the colors last tremendously well once you use a primer i would not recommend you use them without a primer just because they won't last as long and if you're somebody like me who don't like to keep reapplying and reapplying your makeup you would definitely want to use a primer just for it can last all day so these are two of those that i recommend as far as if you want some type of eyeshadows or whatever to use these are really nice eyeshadows um what else what else what else what else what else Oh, this is a good eyeshadow. This is from Ame. It's for the people who have the brown eyes. These are from the brown eye girls. And this really highlights your eye. If you're like me, if you can see the color of my eyes, um, this really brings out the lightness in my eyes. It really makes my eyes lighter than what they are. It looks really, really gorgeous. Um, so, yeah, this is from Ame. You can get this from any Walgreens or or walmart or target or wherever these are there in the all may section they're really really nice i believe i got it so long ago but i believe this is maybe six to eight dollars somewhere between here but this is really nice for eyeshadow um this is also nice for eyeshadow it's from it's called Wet n Wow. I got this from my local beauty supply store. I have a few colors. This one is called I'm Feeling Retro, and it has all those different colors, and it has the pinkish, the blue, and the white. This one is called Cool as a Cucumber, of course, and it has all the different color greens with that little purple in the middle that you can use in your crease. So it's really nice. These are also good if you don't know how to apply your colors. It has where you can put it like this is the eyelid that's decreased and that's the highlight as long as this is also what this has so if you are someone who's new to makeup and don't really know what colors to put where or where to put what you definitely can use these these are nice starter tools um i have another one from wet and wild it's called it's getting i'm getting sunburned this one is all destroyed it's very very old um but this is like for you brown people like me i love my browns and my neutral colors they're really really nice those are good eyeshadows you can pick those up from any of your drug stores um those are really nice um these are also eyeshadows ah! before i break it Good thing I don't use it as much anymore, so yeah. Because I could break something, but I didn't. It's all right. It survived. It survived. So this is from L'Oreal. This is really nice. It's called Shocked. It's really, really pretty. It has a green on one side and like an orangey, peachy looking color on the other. This is really, really nice. It lasts as long, especially when you have a primer. It's gorgeous. This is, I believe, eight bucks. And I have a whole bunch of other different colors like that as well. They're really nice. I don't use them anymore. Um, but sometimes, you know, I get to that point to where I will use it. So I don't really use it too much anymore. But, I, you know, it's okay. Now, on to the eyeshadows that aren't too expensive. Not eyeshadows. I did eyeshadows. This is mascara that aren't too expensive. Here's one I bought from Tar. No, I bought this from Kohl's. So if you guys ever think these like little stores around here, like Kohl's, Sears, wherever, they have really nice makeup. Check it out. It's really nice. Kohl's has a nice little makeup section. Um, I bought two mascaras from there. I have a flirted curl and I have a flirt that flirt all that lash. This one makes them really bold. This one curls them. They're really pretty. They're really nice. What the secret is with mascara is the product 
the color and whatever is all the same it's what brushes you use so definitely when you purchase it look at what the brush looks like if you like your lashes to be really really bulky and big you would need something that looks like this brush but if you want something just well defining of your lashes or something like that here's another one i have i bought this from the body shop this is something that makes it really well and defined it's all based on the brushes so yeah in this one is the curly one and it has a curl to it so you take it and you just curl it up and this one is really really nice and it they i uh, i'm not even gonna lie i don't know i don't remember how much i paid for them but i know that they were not that expensive they had to be maybe i think i paid together with them maybe 15 bucks together so they probably were i don't know in between a nice price so they weren't too bad they probably were like seven something a piece they weren't too too bad um also for face now foundation this is from the body shop they're really really nice actually i like them um this one is oil free balancing foundation spf 15 um it's really nice and it's cool i'm a color eight so if you ever go to the body shop looking for foundation and you're around my skin complexion i'm a color eight um it blends very very well with my skin tone i actually had it on last night um, when I went out, it's really, really nice. It goes very, very well with my skin tone. So, the product is good and it's nice and moist. You don't need too much. Just a dot, 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 dot all over and blend it in and it will look fabulous once you have it in. Now, what's most important is that you have a setter for it. So, here is an inexpensive setter. It's not too, too bad. Um, they weren't inexpensive to me because I caught them on sale. It was a whatever you could put in your makeup bag that was about this big. Uh, whatever you could put in that bag for, I believe, you get half off of the original price. These both were $22, so I got them for $11, so it was really good. This is the powder base to set it on my face so it lasts all day. It looks like this. It's lighter, as you can see. It's a number six. Now, I was nervous about it because I was like, wow, which one would I be? But you know what? This one and the, this one, these two colors work together very, very good. They're nice, and I love them together. So if you're ever thinking of going in there just to buy something or you're just looking around to try it, they do do makeup on you in the store as well. Just ask them. Um, this is really, really nice, and it's a number six. Um, also... Stuff that's not too expensive. Here's another eyeshadow that you can get. This is from me. I mean, sorry, eyeshadow. That's because I was just doing it not too long ago. This is mascara. This is from Maybelline. You can get this from any Walmart, Target, wherever, CVS. This is Maybelline's One by One Volume Express. It's really, really nice. Here's what the brush looks like. It makes it, it makes your lashes very defined, but it's really pretty. It wakes them up from being sleepy. It wakes them up, wakes them up. Um, also, if you're a bronzer girl like me, here's a very pretty bronzer. I got this from Kohl's. It's called Foxy Bronze. It's really, really nice. And it comes with a brush and a mirror in the inside. It's really nice. It is beautiful. If you're someone who doesn't really like to do all the eyeshadow and all that extra stuff, you can just do a little bit of bronzer on your face. Make sure your eyebrows look nice. And you're good to go. It looks really good. I love this stuff. It's nice. When My days when I'm lazy and I don't really want to do it, this is what I use. I use my face primer, which I'll explain to you in a second. I use a nice bronzer. I have a few of them. I use a nice bronzer. And I also use my brow kit, which I will explain to you in a few. But definitely those three products together on my face will make me look like... I don't have makeup on, but you look gorgeous naturally. So it's really, really nice. You guys should try it. It's nice. If you're ever so in that mood where you don't want to do makeup, you can try that. Um, this is also a face primer that I use. And this has the gel look, like the gel type of beads in it, which are shimmering beads. When they burst on your skin, your face gets that shimmering type thing. Once you put like foundation or something over it, it looks like you have a natural glow and it's really, really nice. I love it. Um, and this is called Lily Cole. It's really nice. 
and it's from the body shop i got it for five bucks so it's really really nice and it lasts it makes your makeup last all day so this is a nice product to use you guys really should check out the body shop it's really nice now for eyebrows if you guys see my eyebrows i have nothing on them right now but i use this brow kit to fix my eyebrows i'll do a tutorial on it soon i honestly believe i saw someone else on youtube who actually was doing a eyebrow uh tutorial with this kit i believe um it was so long ago when i watched it but um i was like oh wow she has the same kit i use wow but um yeah someone there is someone so maybe you can go on to um youtube and see if you can find it i will be posting a video of how i use this and what i do for this so definitely stay tuned for that if you're looking for that um but i use this to fix my eyebrows and i do not have the tweezer that comes with it anymore because i have a mom who's in my stuff like she's a child and i always lose my stuff but oh well she's my mom i love her that um it's a highlight it comes with the fill in color and it also comes in with the high line like the um liner color which you line your with and then you fill it in with that color so it's really really pretty i love it it i when i tell you this is like my this is like i'm like a dealer of drugs here like when i go to any of my friends and i turn them onto this stuff they are like addicted addicts and they have all been using this ever since i put them onto this stuff so this stuff is really nice you guys if you ever don't have it go get it it is lovely you will love it you will always look like you just came out of getting your eyebrows done i mean it is that good um also for maybelline studio eyeliners this is a good eyeliner. It's called Liquid. It's a liquid eyeliner. It's called Charcoal Carbon. It's really nice. It's dark, 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 dark black. I need to get some more. I am running out. This is the only liquid eyeliner I use. Um, I don't like the ones in the, the containers just because I haven't found a good one yet. And I don't really like it, I can say. Um, but... This one I fell in love with. I really, really like it. It's from Maybelline Eye Studio, and it's really nice. Um, I believe I got this for 12 bucks, but it lasts all day. It's really, really nice eyeliner. You should try this. It's really nice. Um, also, from Target, I purchased ELF. Uh, it's ELF Shimmering Facial Whip. It's something that makes your lips pop. So if you ever have some lipstick that doesn't really pop really well, you can use this. Um, you can use a little bit on your eyes, some on your face. Wherever you want your color to pop, you would use this. You do not use a lot. I will tell you, you lose literally like a dime size, like how much I just squeezed out. You do not need a lot because this is very, very shimmery. I had to find it, find it out the long way, I mean the hard way. It's really, really not that bad. You do not need a lot, just a little bit because it's very shimmery. But this stuff works. It does pop your colors, and it does make your lipstick pop or whatever else pop. Now, with lipstick, um, I do have lipstick from MAC and from The Body Shop and from Maybelline and from all those different types of things. Um, but I won't show you uh, my MAC brands are not yet. I'm just going to show you the brands that are inexpensive, that aren't too expensive, that you would like to buy. Um, these, I have two colors from my local beauty supply store. I have a pink called Eye Prince, Ice Princess, and then I have a purple called Lavender. And this is very, very nice, a very, very nice colors. Um, I'm not too much of a purplish, pinkish girl, but the colors, when I put them on, they're very, very nice. I love to fill them in and tone the color down with my uh, lip liner. Um, depending on what the color is, will depend on what lip liner I use. I have a few of them. Um, I like to use my chestnut brown lip pencil when I use my Ice Princess Pink because the brown and the pink together makes it really, really nice and it tones it down almost to like a close little... I don't know. I'll do a tutorial on how I do my lips. I'll show you kind of how I do them if you guys want to see that. If so, just leave the comment down below to let me know um, if you would want me to do that. But, yeah, that's really nice. Also, I have a lip gloss that's from The Body Shop. It's called Perfectly Pink. It's really, really pretty. I'll squeeze a little bit out so you guys can see. It's really, really nice. It's pretty. Um, it's definitely gorgeous. 
Um, I will say this is a pink that I can actually use by itself. I don't wear it as frequently unless I'm going out. That's the only time I really wear it. If I'm going somewhere to school or if I'm going to whatever, I don't really like to wear it just because it's too much for me unless I tone it down. Um, also, I use eye pencils for my lower waterline or whatever this is really nice i get it from my local beauty supply store i'm actually running out so i may have to run out today and get me a few more of them they're only a dollar they're really really nice not too pricey oh i forgot the lipsticks from the local beauty supply store are never that expensive there might be 2.99 or three bucks but they're not too bad they're really nice um profit you know lipsticks or whatever and that's pretty much it my brushes um i do use elf they're not too expensive but i do have expensive brushes too so it all depends on you as a person i really don't think that you need an expensive brush if you don't have the money there are plenty of things you can use that are well you know that works just as well and you'll look just as fabulous so definitely those are some keys i gave you of where you can get some stuff from those are some of the items that i like to use they're really nice they aren't too pricey and they're really really good um also face primer here's another face primer i bought it from maybelline i bought it years ago it's really really nice it's called age defined and it's kind of creamy you don't need a lot but it definitely works good you could just put it on your face and set it put it all over and let your makeup just sit or whatever and it looks really really nice this is good stuff um i will definitely come to you guys a little later on as far as on the other types of makeup the kind of top brand type make makeups i like to use and what are my favorite products like i said earlier in the video i will do an eyebrow tutorial on how i do my eyebrows i will also do a tutorial on anything that you guys would like me to do um as far as what's my normal routine because i'm a nursing student um we have very very strict rules as far as makeup earrings as you can see i have to wear like studs in my ears a lot um so there's a lot of things that i had to get adjusted to as far as what i can do so i do have an everyday look that i do that's pretty much simple is not long it's probably like a good 10 minute process it's not very very long and it's something that you can wear every day and your face looks natural like you really don't have any makeup on so you can i'll definitely do a tutorial on that so you guys can see what that looks like and pretty much i'll just be coming to you guys more frequently on things so definitely um i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll definitely be back with some more stuff that i'm going to talk to you about in the second video that i'm going to do today so yeah i'll see you guys later on and until then love you bye